Well, hello friends, my name is Roger and welcome to my channel, Roger's Reads. So I placed a pre-order on Amazon the other day and was thinking about how there are certain authors that are on my Instabuy list. That is to say, authors whose books I automatically purchase because I love their work so much. So I decided to come up with a list of uh, 15 authors, many of whose work I love enough that I will pre-order their books ahead of time. So the first author on my list is Armistead Maupin. So I've talked about him quite a bit on this channel as he's written one of my favorite series, The Tales of the City, which follows a group of people living in San Francisco in the uh, late 70s, early 80s, I think the uh, time period was. This was also turned into a mini-series uh, a few years back. But I was also tickled to learn that Netflix is bringing back a modern day version of Tales in the City this year, in fact, so I can't wait to see what they do with it. Now, Mr. Mopan has written other books, including uh, The Night Listener, uh, Maybe the Moon, and Logical Family. So the second author on my list is uh, Becky Abertali. Now, she is the award-winning author of one of my favorite books, Simon vs. the Homo Sapiens Agenda, which was turned into a major motion picture uh, last year entitled Love, Simon. And the story follows a closeted high school student who is being blackmailed by a fellow student. Now, Becky's other works include uh, The Upside of Unrequited, uh, Leah on the Offbeat, and uh, What If It's Us, her most recent book written in a collaboration with Adam Silvera. Which brings me to my next favorite author, Adam Silvera. So Adam Silvera is the New York Times bestselling author of They Both Die at the End, a book I absolutely loved. Um, more Happy Than Not, History Is All You Left Me, another favorite of mine, and uh, What If It's Us, written in uh, collaboration with Becky Abertali. I'd probably say my favorite of his is They Both Die at the End, uh, a very moving tale that follows two boys who become friends on their last day alive. Definitely need to have tissues ready for that one. Now, the next author on my list is Brandon Sanderson. Another author I've talked quite a bit about on this channel. Uh, Brandon Sanderson is a high fantasy author who is relatively new to me. But once I started reading his books, I knew that I had to have them all. So I ended up getting a good number of them already on various locations on my shelves. So I've already read uh, Mistborn, Warbreaker, and Elantis, and I hope to dive into the Stormlight Archive of this year, which, which are, right, uh, are right over there. Three really, really, really thick books. I also got his Steelheart series, his Legion book, and the Rhythmatist, which is a YA book. Oh, also his uh, most recent book, Skyward. Duh, I just got that one which I plan on adding to my TBR in March. Next author on my list is Kevin Hearn. So Kevin is the author of the Iron Druid Chronicles, another one of my all-time favorite series, and follows the adventures of Atticus O'Sullivan, a genuine druid who owns and runs an occult bookshop. And he ends up getting embroiled in the day-to-day -day struggle of gods and goddesses, witches, werewolves, demons, elementals, and other creatures from its mythology. I think Mr. Hearn has written some other things too, but I don't have them. But uh, Iron Druid Chronicles, definitely on top of my list. My next author is David Sedaris. So David Sedaris is a humorist who I think of as the master of satire. And I find his biting social critique essays absolutely hysterical. So some of my favorite books by him include uh, Naked, Me Talk Pretty One Day, uh, Holidays on Ice, but all of his books are worth a read. So the next author on my list is Cassandra Clare. So you know I wasn't actually thinking of including Cassandra Clare because she didn't at first come to mind as an Instabuy author until I realized that I pretty much have every book that she's uh, written and have already pre-ordered her uh, 2019 releases. <laughs> so uh, yeah, so I guess uh, 
She definitely fits in the umbrella of my uh, industry by authors. She's most well known for her Shadow Hunter series, which has been turned actually into a television show, which I think there are two seasons of. So, given that I have uh, almost an entire shelf dedicated to her work, I guess that would classify her as an Instabi author for me. The next author on my list is Anita Sunday. So, I don't read a lot of romancy contemporaries, but when I do, or when I'm in the mood for one, I turn to Anita Sunday, who writes gay, slow burn romances. My favorite series by her is the Signs of Love series, with my favorite book in that series being Scorpio Hates Virgo, I think. Now these are sexy books, so if you don't like Nookie in your novels, then you might want to stay clear. But I will say that her scenes are very tastefully done, as they're not so numerous and unnecessary as they are in a lot of books in this genre. Also, given that her novels are of the slow burn variety, you typically have to wait more towards the end of the book for the sexy bits. So the next author on my list is, of course, Dorinda Jones. Now, Dorinda Jones is another author that I've talked a lot about on this channel and who has penned one of my favorite series, which is the Charlie Davidson series. So this is a paranormal suspense series which follows Charlotte Davidson, aka Charlie Davidson, a part-time private investigator who helps the police with by using her ability to contact the dead. Oh, and she's also the Grim Reaper. So the last book in this series was just published this year, which was the 13th book. She's also written a young adult fantasy series called the Dark Light series which I actually didn't know about and I plan on picking up. So the next author on my list is Maggie Stiefvater. So Maggie Stiefvater is the author of another one of my favorite series, The Raven Cycle, which is a four book series. Other books she's written include Crooked Saints, The Scorpio Races, Sinner, and Sugar Trilogy. She also has a new book coming out this year, which is called Call Down the Hawk, which is the first book in a new trilogy called the Dreamer Trilogy. Oh, and if you like tarot, she's also illustrated and authored a tarot deck called the Raven's Prophecy Tarot, which is based on her Raven Cycle series. Number 11 is Anne Rice. Okay, so Anne Rice is not only an insta -buy author for me, but she's also probably my most read author. I've read every single book in her vampire series, Vampire Lestat, Interview with the Vampire, Armand, The Vampire Armand, etc, etc, as well as the books in her Werewolf series and her Mayfair Witches series. There's also her Mummy series. The first book she wrote, which is called um, The Mummy, Ramses the Damned, and she recently co-authored a sequel to the book with her son Christopher Rice, entitled uh, Ramses the Damned, The Passion of Cleopatra. I bought it, but I haven't read it yet, so uh, another bo book I need to get to. Author number 12 is V.E. Schwab, Victoria Schwab. So she's also a new author for me, and I realized that I have uh, pretty much all of her recent books. I just picked up Vengeful, which is book two in the Villain series, but I haven't gotten around to it yet. I think I'm aiming for April with that one. I think I have it on my, yes, I, I plan on my TBRs months in advance. I also follow her posts on social media and have become quite a fan. So Victoria Schwab has also written the Shades of Magic series, the Villain series. I don't know how many books there will be. So far she's only written Vicious and Vengeful. There's her Monsters of Verity duology and her Archive series, which I don't have that one, which I think is part of her earlier works. There's also a new middle grade series called City of Ghosts, which I do have it picked up this year, with book two to be released in September. Number 13 is Patrick Ness. So Patrick Ness is a YA author whose work I always enjoy and whose novels include uh, A Monster Calls and The Ocean Was Our Sky, More Than This, um, The Knife of Never Letting Go, uh, Release, and more. He's also, he also wrote the Doctor Who spin-off called Class. Now there was also a BBC series called Class, 
But I'm not sure if he wrote that as well or if he just wrote the novels. But the, the TV series didn't last that long. It was cancelled. But yeah, Patrick Nest, another one of my favorite authors. Number 14 is Neil Shusterman. So Neil Shusterman is a new author to me and I've only read two of his books really, Scythe and Thunderhead, which are both part of the uh, Ark of a Scythe series and both of which I absolutely adored. So he's coming out with the third book in the series this year, I do believe, fingers crossed. And I think the title is Toll or The Toll. I've also recently picked up his Unwinded Distology, which I haven't read yet. He's also written quite a few other books, uh, his, his older work, which includes the Accelerati Trilogy, the Star Shards Chronicles, the uh, Skinjacker Trilogy, and the Dark Fusion Trilogy, all of which I hope to check out eventually, but I will probably purchase any new books he puts out right off the bat. And last, but by no means least, is Bridget Kemmerer. So Bridget Kemmerer is the author of dark contemporary YA fantasy stories. She's probably my most recent addition to my Insta buy list. I just finished her latest novel entitled A Curse So Dark and Lonely, a retelling of A Beauty and the Beast, which I thought was absolutely phenomenal. I also read her Elemental series years ago, which follows four brothers, each of whom possesses one of the elemental powers, earth, air, fire, and water. I also recently picked up uh, Letters to the Lost, which I haven't had an opportunity to read yet, and I don't know that much about. Now there's also supposedly, what I've read, a sequel coming out to A Curse So Dark and Lonely, the uh, Beauty of the Beast retelling. So, not sure when that will be released, though, but I'm, uh, but yeah, we'll definitely pick that up when it comes out. And we'll probably pick up anything else she comes out with, unless it's uh, like a fluffy contemporary romance. So, how about you? Do you have any Insta buy authors? If so, which ones? I'm always on the lookout for new authors to check out. So, that about does it for my. 15 Insta by authors. As always, I thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate all of your support. And as usual, if you like this video, please click the like button below and uh, consider subscribing to the channel if you haven't. So, I will talk to you in the next video. Roger and out.